How's it going guys? Reform Stoic here, back with another video. Um, we're testing a new camera angle because I got a lot of people telling me that I'm a 240 FPS Andy and I need to um, use my GoPro. I have better um, filming equipment around that I just haven't been using for my videos because I kind of thought it didn't really matter because you're supposed to just listen to my voice. But um, algorithms and normies and all that so let's just go ahead and give this a shot uh, I got a massive pile of books on top of my laptop with my GoPro on top of it so hopefully this camera angle is okay but uh, anyway to the point of the video I'm up early had a bunch of water carved up ready to go the black pill is atheist and I don't think I need to like spend that much time talking about this. I'm just going to go ahead and rip the band-aid off. These guys are demoralized because they cannot have lots of no strings attached, one night stand, sex with women. That is fornication and it is not compatible with being a Christian. As a Christian you are supposed to get married. And um, apparently, as a Catholic, you're not even supposed to use contraception. Every time you have sex, you're supposed to be unprotected, and you could potentially it could potentially result in childbirth. Um, I'm not going to give any more thoughts on that specific aspect, but it's not pleasing to God. It's revolting to God when you have sex outside of wedlock. It's um, not how you're supposed to live your life. So, these guys need to realize that the secular world is failing, the sexual revolution was a mistake, and everyone who is outside of the church is going to suffer. Um, I really don't want to say that much more about it other than that, because I'm really tired of everything having to do with like the black pill and the red pill and Chad, and Stacy and MGTOW. I've just, I've got these kind of like natural instincts that have started to kick in that's just making me realize like all of this stuff is really cringe. And my advice to you is that you join a church, I recommend Catholicism, and you just stop living of the world. What's happened to you is that you're really far out in the weeds now, especially if you're like 30, and there's no immediate fix for that. You've basically fallen into psyops on the internet, okay? You've had a bad time with people in the world, which is understandable. It probably started with being secular to begin with. Um, if you're somebody who grew up in the church and you ended up, you know, getting blackpilled or something, like you never left the church, like you've been Christian your entire life, and you ended up being blackpilled, go ahead and let me know in the comments, because my theory is that this is all a result of secular life. Uh, my parents did not do a very good job raising me in the church. You know, they'll say that they tried. Uh, I went to like Bible day camp when I was very young. I went to mass on Sundays when I was very young but you know I started watching Comedy Central fourth fifth grade it really did not take long for me to just first of all just get bored of going to church and then I started kinda like backing up my desire to not go to church with like Comedy Central opinions and then of course you know your public school biology teacher usually has some sour things to say about the Bible and um I had just kind of drifted away from the church young, like I'm sure a lot of people do. And then you get sucked into the secular party machine where, for me, it became evident my junior year of high school. That's when I started to drink. That's when I started to smoke weed and go party. And yeah, there's loose women just going out and having one night stands. And it's, it's going to be like lame, cool party guy dude bros. And um, that really bothers you because that, that basically becomes like the secular point of your life. You know, you have no guiding 
moral compass, you don't really know what life is about, and you're kind of just deciding it on your own based on whatever is around you. And the black pill is the logical conclusion of the secular way that you've been living your life. Because yes, loose women who are just looking for a human dildo, they're going to choose um, genetically superior men. It's like caveman stuff, and that really bothers you, and then you end up in like all these like fed discords with people who are trying to demoralize you and drag you into the dirt. In my opinion, there's all kinds of feds all over this stuff, and they're using it as a psyop, and it's a way to demoralize and ruin massive amounts of men. Massive amounts of men. I think that the end game here is just depopulation. Look up Malthusian, Malthusianism, the Malthusian agenda. Um, that traces all the way back to like the mid late 1800s, possibly even earlier than that. A little rusty on that off the top of my head. But um, you need to get it together. You need to start reading the Bible. Go to church. Talk to your priest. Go to confession. Um, just start reeling it in, man. I got I got off of weed in the last few months now. Um, alcohol, luckily for me, just doesn't really do it for me. I feel like I kind of made an ass of myself the last time I got really drunk. So, um... And that was a couple of years ago now. You just gotta start bringing it in, guys. And it's not gonna be easy. Life isn't easy. Um, I feel like the younger you are, the better shot you're gonna have of, like, getting back to the population. But it seems like a lot of us just kind of naturally fell away from the population. Stop beating yourself up, man, okay? Society is not functioning right now. You are part of a statistic. Everybody's heard about the Hill article. 63% of men, 19, 29 are single. Only 32% of women in that same age group. That's messed up, man. Society's not functioning, so it's not your fault. You're not the problem. Stop blaming it on yourself. But if you keep, like, stewing in these, like, weird black pill feelings and like this obsession with like good looking guys and stuff it's really cringe bro it's really cringe personally i had like lost my friends and uh i kind of made some bad life decisions that led to me being isolated ever since i moved to vegas like nothing really well the positive that came out of that is i spent a lot of time studying eventually and i kind of became an earlier version of who i am now and uh i started like just learning, you know, I went inward and started to learn and became deeper and then I found my faith. That's the only positive that came out of me living in Vegas. Uh, I don't have anything positive to say about Vegas. I lost all my old friends, but frankly they weren't very good friends and they needed to go. So I'm taking the opportunity to grow um, and this is, this is probably going to take a while for you guys to stomach and digest, but if you don't get married you're not meant to have sex. And as far as like, well, what if I have the opportunity to have sex? Well, you know what, that's gonna be up to you. Um, yeah, like right now where I'm at, if that opportunity came for me with an attractive woman, I, I probably would do it, you know what I'm saying? And then c confess about it later. But luckily for me, those opportunities aren't really like abundant. So yeah, I just, I feel like it's just gonna sound cheesy if I go on and on and on and uh, maybe some of you guys coming here are gonna be like oh religions cope and the Bible is cope and well I urge you to come hang out on my stream sometime and uh, discuss it with me and people in my chat because um, I'm not gonna go much longer on this for here you have been living a secular life with no direction as a result you have been dragged into psyops that are meant to demoralize and ruin men because you had nothing protecting you and you're upset and you're angry you should start being upset and angry that um, your parents didn't raise you in, a ch in the church and that you know you got sucked into like comedy central tier opinions and like netflix reddit tier opinions and ted talks tier opinions and as a result you had no guidance in life and 
you were fed to the wolves. And there are wolves out there in the black pill who want you to be miserable and who are just going to speak nothing but toxic to you. They're going to tell you that you're a worthless subhuman if you're not a certain height or if your hair doesn't look a certain way. And it's completely toxic, man. And um, there's still a lot of those people like hanging around my channel. And I want, I want to make some big changes around here. I'm trying to like find more like-minded people. I'm trying to find more Christians and Catholics and intellectuals to populate my channel because um, I'm really tired of hearing about it, bro. But go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments. Um, I'm trying to help you guys get out of here, man. I'm trying to help you guys get out of these honeypot discords into churches and it's going to take patience, basic white pills, you know, drinking lots of water. I recommend that you check out Durian Ryder and his high carb diet. A lot of people seem to like have a problem with that. Everybody's like into keto. I'm just, I just think you should try it. Just give it a shot. See if it works for you. Follow his exact protocols. I feel like it gives you a lot of energy. You know, go to bed early, wake up, big glass of water, high carb breakfast, and move and get moving and read and just um, move on, man. Seriously, if if you take my advice right now and you just stop watching black pill videos and you stop hanging out in black pill discords and you stop complaining you're going to thank me like in five years from now when you cut this shit out. Even if you don't, you know, even if it doesn't work out with women right away, like you just need to put your mind elsewhere, you know, study, read, even if it's not that, you know, watch your favorite TV show, like do something else, bro. You are like deep in a psyop. You got really nasty people in your ear. They're ruining you, bro. They want you dead. They want you to kill yourself. So, I recommend that you um, start trying to develop your faith, start praying every night. I recommend the Catholic Church, get uh, baptized if you're not, you know, take your first communion, work to get confirmed, go to confession, go to mass. That's my recommendation, and if you have a problem with that, you know, go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments. But uh, frankly, I'm trying to help you, man. And uh, if you want to tell me that, like, oh, you're cooked and you're coping, all right, dude, well, then you're just going to rot away in a Discord alone. And, um, yeah, I'm still alone right now. But, you know, frankly, guys, like, um, and, this is, and this is where it's, like, hard to reach you. It's, like, look at how so many of these women live their lives today. Like, on Instagram, OnlyFans. The kind of women that sleep around are not the kind of women that you want to end up with. Not like the kind of woman that you want to end up with isn't the kind of woman who sleeps around. All right. I'm just going to leave I'm just going to leave it there. Meditate on that. Think about that. You know, the kind of girls who populate these parties and look for some cool smooth talking guy to sleep with that night and you're bummed out that you were never that guy, were those the kind of girls that you wanted to like get married to, bro? And then and then there's the MGTOW guys, like, oh, marriage doesn't really work. Well, I kind of agree with you, but frankly, you don't want to marry a party chick, okay? You're trying to find a rare kind of a woman, and she's trying to find a rare kind of a man. You need to become that rare kind of a man, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna like, oh, wow, I need to be this rare kind of a man. Okay, I'm him now. It's gonna probably take you a few years guys so that's about 15 minutes um, I feel like maybe this video could have been like more organized or something but uh, I'm just trying to help you man and I'd say like maybe watch some of the other videos on my channel I'm really trying to push my three-part series I, I put it in a playlist three video series on the Bible um, new age versus fruits of the spirit is part one and then it goes to the power of positivity, and then they want to demoralize you. I'm really trying to push that, you guys. I think that I think those videos will help you get give you an idea of like how you're meant to live your life in terms of the Bible. So that's what I got for you guys. 
God bless you, and uh, I really hope that this video finds the right people, man. I wouldn't have a knee-jerk reaction, okay? I'm asking you to not have a knee-jerk reaction. Think about this. If you're really deep in atheism, you know, reach out to me, talk to me, send me an email, show up in my uh, comments. If you're going to be all disrespectful, like, oh, you're coping, you, you don't care about science, and it's like, well, science is the establishment, and does it seem like the establishment cares about you? I'm just going to go ahead and leave it there. God bless you, my friends.